CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 0.4% in June, marking the seventh consecutive month of price growth. Now, the June figure brings Perth price growth for the 2022 calendar year to 4%. Now, REWA President Damien Collins said the Perth property market had experienced solid price growth in the first six months of 2022. Our members have reported strong market conditions throughout Perth and across all price points over the last 12 months. And that has particularly been the case for the first half of 2022. And that's coming from REWA President Damien Collins. At the midway point of the year, REWA's 2022 calendar year forecast of 10% price growth is tracking well. Now, as we move through the winter months, it is likely some heat will come out of the market. However, not enough to impact Perth's overall price growth trajectory. Now, let's get into the details with this month's Perth market update. So the suburbs to record the biggest increases in median house price sale during June were Edgewater, which was up 3.3% to 620,000, Riverton up 3.3% to 736,000, Kalamunda up 2.8% to 735,000, Jindalee up 2.4% to 640,000, and Padbury up 2.3% to 655,000. Now other suburbs to perform well were Alkamos, Mullaloo, Seville Grove, Shenton Park, and Dawesville. Now, Mr. Collins said Perth's median house sale price is still the most affordable median of any capital city in the country. Now, while increases to the cash rate will have some impact on affordability, West Australians are very well positioned to manage these costs. Now, there were 8,541 properties for sale on Rewa.com at the end of June, which is 2.6% higher than May. Mr. Collins said listings for sale remain low until listing volumes reach that $12,000 to $13,000 uh, 13, balance market figure. Competition amongst buyers will be high, especially as the state's population increases. Now, the median time to sell a house was 16 days during June, which is two days slower than May and three days faster than one year ago. Now, while median selling time was a couple of days slower than May, the June figure is still much lower than the 30 to 40 days we would typically see in a balanced market, Mr. Collins said. Now, Reba.com data shows the fastest selling suburbs in June were Aurelia at three days, Parmelia at four days, Meadow Springs, Kingsley and Medina all at six days. Now, other suburbs to record fast median selling times were Merriwa, Waikiki, Wanneroo, Safety Bay and Kinross. Now, Perth's median rent price held steady at $470 per week during June. While the median rent price has risen over the last year, we are not seeing month-on-month -month unsustainable growth rates, Mr. Collins said. It took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during June, which was the same as May and four days faster than one year ago. And the suburbs that recorded the fastest median leasing times were Yanship, which was sitting at eight days, Atwell at nine days, Yokine 10 days, and Perth and Queens Park both at 11 days. Other suburbs to experience fast median leasing times were Alkamos, Balga, Duncraid, Seville Grove, and Tapping. Now there were 2,296 properties for rent on Rewa.com at the end of June, which is 0.5% more than at the end of May, and 17.5% less than one year ago. Mr. Collins said the housing shortage is the biggest issue facing the WA rental market. Whilst we have one of the most affordable rental environments in the country, there is simply not enough available rentals to meet demand. Now, WA desperately needs an influx of investors to help improve the supply of rentals, and it is imperative that no major changes are made to residential tenancy laws during the Residential Tenancies Act review, which would discourage investors from buying in WA. Well guys, that is it from me today. Now, please feel free to like, comment and share this video no matter where you're seeing it. And if it's your first time, time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe. Remember guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Have a great week and bye for now.